mind. Who are you addicted to fast food? Who so you sir can get a heart attack any time now. Go get a health insurance right now. Go, go, run. <laughs> सर, मैं सोच रहा था थोड़ा हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस ले लू हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस चलो मैं पढ़ दूंगा मैं पढ़ दूंगा ये हेडिंग है खाली टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन उधर मिलेगा दो नंबर काउंटर Why don't you just give me your money when you're gone I'll give it to your honey if I ran with the nipis of honey so why don't you just give me your money Just the idea of insurance confuses a lot of people especially youngsters like you and me right So I actually became aware of insurance when my sister had a road accident and we quickly had to rush her to the closest private hospital So she had to get her surgery done and the bill next day was enormously high That is when I realized that your health going bad or these accidents can burn a huge hole in your pocket. We don't usually think of these adverse events till they actually happen to us, right? Our day to day is so busy focused on figuring out our careers, friends, living our life that very often we fail to plan for the future. So there's this beautiful scene that I saw in a Rajnikanth movie once where Rajni's wife she advises him to start setting money aside each month for a LIC insurance policy so the family will be taken care of in the event he passes away. So to that Rajni goes like, "Do you really want to live off the money from my death?" Now this mindset of Indians is also one of the core reasons why insurance penetration in India is so poor that despite knowing its importance just 41% of households in India have only one individual covered by health insurance plan or health scheme. Now it's also not entirely our fault since it has to do with how getting insurance in itself has been made such a complicated process with overwhelming choices, paperwork and hidden restrictions. But wait, before we get started, let me first explain how insurance works. Let's say you go to school with 10 other kids and there's this one bully who's always stealing one kid's lunch money. Now, every single day, the bully finds one random kid and steals the 5 rupees that they got for lunch. The teacher are not doing anything about it because they don't care. Fortunately, you're one of the math nerds in that group and you have a brilliant idea. So, what you do is you go to the other kids and you tell them that if they give you just 1 rupee every day, you will buy them lunch in case this bully comes and steals their money. So, you're basically selling them lunch insurance. Now, in case the bully does come and take their 4 rupees which is left with them, you will buy them a 5 rupees lunch which is still a very sweet deal for them. Now, What does this get you? Well, every single day you're collecting a total of 10 rupees from these 10 kids and paying for only one person's lunch. So that means you're making 6 rupees every day. The bully is making 4 rupees every day and no kid ever goes without a lunch. Everybody wins. Basically, a bunch of people got together and realized that if an emergency strikes, they might not have on spot money. So the group said that if we all pool in money we can compensate the one person who gets hit with an unfortunate event. In the beginning lots of people took advantage of this group. I could join the group, pool in 10 rupees and then burn my own house down and get nice money for a new house, right? So there needed to be a way to check the authenticity of these claims. The group basically assigned a leader and said, "You check if these claims are legit." And so the story of insurance started. Today we don't have a loose group. We have private companies and even banks that have ventured into the insurance space. Now, let's take the example of health insurance. Just like if you were starting a lunch money insurance company, you need to figure out what is the chance of the bully stealing someone's money and how many times per day different people's money would be stolen. If you're a big burly guy, the bully is less likely to steal from you, so the person's premium amount is much lower. Similarly, In health insurance also your risk is assessed and if you are a healthy hearty happy guy your premium is much lower riskier people that is people who have a higher probability of getting sick 
pay more because they cost more. So what happens is you're basically paying into a pool and when you make a claim, you take from that pool. So you're making payments now both for the rare chance, you need a big sum of money you don't otherwise have and for the people who are currently withdrawing money from the pool. So insurance is essentially banking on the chance that people will be paying into the pool more than what they would be withdrawing. So in case the pool is empty, everyone making a claim is basically screwed. Homeowners insurance is notorious for this. Now if a flood happens and the local insurance pools gets wiped out, you will get your money. But it could take a long time as the pool needs to be replenished and it's usually a first come first serve basis. Insurance is basically placing a bet and hoping that you'll never win. It's also tricky for a brain to fathom this, right? Because you've got to keep paying the money hoping you'll never have to use it because who likes falling sick, bro? But the sad and harsh reality of life is anything can happen to any of us at any point of time. Now, there are five main types of must-have insurance as you get older and your risk of problems grow. There's life insurance, an insurance where cover is given to your family in case somebody passes away. There's health insurance, there's car insurance, there's disability insurance and there's home insurance. Remember I said that there's usually a person that is responsible for checking the authenticity of claims? The big problem is that what started out as a way to make sure people don't make fraudulent claims has turned into a way to deny legitimate claims. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about many of these scams and what to look out for because like I said, insurance is important but avoiding getting scammed when you need the money is way more important. Let me give an example. During COVID, members of my own family were denied insurance when they needed it the most. I want to make sure that this never happens to any of you. Now, one of the main reasons a lot of people don't renew their insurance policies is due to lack of trust by customers who have either been missold policies or have had their claims rejected or only partially paid. So this is very important metric. It's called the persistency ratio. This reveals how many policy holders pay the renewal premium and this often drops to 30% on average after 5 years according to the Ken's analysis of RDI data. According to the Ken, even hospitals have problems getting insurance companies to pay up the claims. The very first scam with insurance companies that you must avoid is being missold wrong policies. See, I'll tell you the problem. The sales representatives who sell you these policies, they are given a commission immediately on you buying insurance policies. So these people will say whatever is necessary to get you to buy, including telling lies. Sometimes up to 40% commission is given to these salesmen. And these policies are often sold to gullible prospects assuring loan, bonus, medical benefits, gold coins, mobile towers. Also, tampering, forgery of proposal or other related documents is very, very common. So using an online aggregator like Ditto is actually the best way forward because they are not partial towards any one entity because they don't represent any one entity. And not just for yourself, right? Please assist your house help, your parents and save anybody and everybody from getting scammed by getting the correct information through either Ditto or doing your own in-depth research. The second thing is, there are two ways to pay your insurance premiums. You may need to pay the premiums regularly at specified intervals over a definite period. Insurance plans with such periodic payments are called regular premium plans. Or you can also pay the entire sum at once with a single premium option. Sales reps of insurance companies are given incentives to sell single premium plans because the company gets more money upfront, right? So do not use this unless you can afford it. If someone asks you to pay a large sum upfront for insurance, ask for their regular premium plans. The third thing is room rent scam. So when you get hospitalized, you get put into a room, right? Now you have a bunch of choices as to which room you want. A shared room, a premium room, deluxe room, AC room, etc. So before buying a health insurance policy, make sure that you understand how the room rent limit works as it may reduce your claim substantially. Say a policy holder's daily room rent limit is 2000 per day, but he gets admitted into a room that costs 4000 a day. In such a case, the insurance policy will only pay 50% of the claim amount. 
All the costs that a hospital charges you are linked to the room rent, including your medicine, tests and surgery will be more for the room and higher with the room rent. And what can happen is that the insurance provider can say that you're using a premium room, therefore all your other costs are higher, therefore we will only give you partial coverage on all services provided to you. Now claim settlements for some insurance providers are very low and you should do everything in your capacity to avoid them. So my friend the Ditto gave me some data that I can share with you. Basically is the ratio of the number of people that claimed insurance versus how many actually got the cash. A claim settlement ratio of 90% and above is wonderful. A claim settlement ratio of 80 to 90% is somewhat decent and anything less than 80% should be rejected. Now the next thing is co-payment. So with a co-payment clause, what happens is the insurer will require that you pay a part of the bill. So let's say if the bill adds up to 1 lakh and the co-payment is set to 20%, then you could be asked to pay 20,000 rupees from the bill from your own pocket. Ideally, you want to buy a policy that doesn't impose a co-payment clause. Remember that despite these scams, good insurance cover is absolutely necessary to have. I told you that they evaluate the risk, right? And if your risk seems low, they will charge you less. That is why taking insurance when you're young is a good thing because your risk is low, you don't have any pre-existing risk factors for diseases either. And just in case you do fall sick, you don't want your full month salary going as hospital bills, right? So it's better to pay that 5 to 10,000 rupees once a year, which by the way, comes up to less than 1,000 a month and avoid this risk. Now, the one company and founders in this space who I genuinely actually trust is Ditto. I've also used them to compare multiple policies to pick out the best one for me and my family. And they've also helped us with a lot of the data in this video for you guys when we reached out to them for research. Oh, no, sir. You have to continue your treatment for your father. You have to pay this bill. 10,000? 10,000? How much money will I get? A few moments later. Guru Ji, do my help, Guru Ji. My father is in the hospital and I don't have money for his treatment. What did your father have taken health insurance? Health insurance? What is that? Hey, Mork! How do you get to get to the Twitter or will you get to the real life? If you have a health insurance, if you have an accident or a disease, then a good health insurance will be filled with all the money. So, a good health insurance should you also take. And the insurance people have given you money to give you money. So, for saving a good health insurance for such a scam, it's very necessary to take a good health insurance. And I don't have time to take a good insurance plan, so what will I do? Hey, Mork, if you have no time, what will happen? Ditto is there. Ditto? What is Ditto? Ditto is an insurance advisory platform which is also backed by Zerodha. In Ditto, you get free advice, spam-free consultation and end-to-end insurance service. Really? So, how do I do a sign-up? Hey, Murk, go to the description and you will get the link there. Booking your free consultation with Ditto is very simple. All you have to do is go to their website, click on book a free call, select which kind of insurance you are looking for, add your additional questions, select timing and your free consultation with the Ditto advisor is scheduled. Why don't you just give me your money? When you're gone, I'll give it to your honey. If I ran, wouldn't it be so funny? So why don't you just give me your money? Nikla super lumbi walk, paper man me ye cough hai ki what if I drop dead off the dome par it's a prospect mot ka dar to koi com me so they monetize on it. Premium par a saal par par I got no clue kam the mokey outside insurance office pounch ke I felt thoda safe psychology ke thi me pawn hai claim denied company bolie tu kon hai tu kon hai aise hi to itne saalon se 
क्या क्या करेंशन के बल पे ये लाइफ इंश्योरेंस या लाइफ लॉन्ग का गेम जब जरूरत हो पेपर वर्क मेरा अंत कंपनी के प्रॉफिट का मायना बस मायना बस व्हाई डोंट यू जस्ट गिव मी योर मनी व्हेन यू आर गॉन आई विल गिव इट टू योर हनी इफ आई रन वुडन इट बी सो फनी सो व्हाई डोंट यू जस्ट गिव मी योर मनी